Alright guys, welcome to another halfway done tutorial. Um, today I'm going to teach you guys how to weight paint. And uh, I'm going to teach you guys how to weight paint humanoids, zombies. And we're going to barely kind of learn how to do it. Um, we're going to use my alien as an example. And we're basically going to copy it over to my Spongebob. Now, a few things. Go in, import your FBX file into Object Builder. Come over to Selections and create these blank selections. Pause the video here if you need. Then we're going to go through, we're going to click each one of these. You're going to select N, which is your weight painter and then we can paint things. Now, hit O again to select off of it. We can use this selector too, but <clears throat> uh, for instance, let's go ahead and do the left arm. Let's go, let's see how fast we can go through this and see what, let's just see what we can do. So, let's see. It doesn't have to be that perfect. See how I'm, I'm going to redefine it. So now I'm going to go to right arm. Right arm. Redefine. Alright. Let's go ahead and see what we can do for head. So the problem with this SpongeBob is his, he's a sponge. It's not really a head. So this is going to come up with some torso too. So let's see. Let's just... Uh, Let's have fun with him, okay? So let's just say that his neck is gonna be like so. That's his head, <laughs> and let's go. Let's just go down the. Let's go down the line. Left foot. So, see, so you kind of get the, the whole gist of this here. It's pretty simple to sit here and weight paint. But you're going to need to know how to do this if you want to learn how to animate. Um, and be careful about here, like, overdoing these. You don't want to have two selected at the same time. So you can even see how hard I've done that one. You know, I could just literally... Um, do that, but I'm not going to because I don't want to. Uh, I kind of want to have a nice. I want to. I want to see how nice I can get this, you know. So let's just keep going. Left leg. It's kind of lower. It's not going all the way up. So we're gonna keep it right like that. Left up leg. I think that's the yeah. So this is what we want. One of the key right there. Okay. Now man body, I'm just going to go ahead and hit O. I'm just going to select everything. Man body, I'm not really sure what this is, but I think it's needed. Chime in if I'm wrong. Next kind of going to be hard. I don't know. I mean, does he really have a neck? It's going to be disconnected if I don't add, an, add it. So, I mean... Yeah, I mean, the neck is going to have to be a basically. Kind of like that. And then let's hit O. And let's uh, hold left control. No, that's not it. Oh, God. Okay. Let's, let's uh, reselect this. Basically, we don't want to get... We don't want to get that arm in there. We can get everything else, but let's try and avoid getting that arm in there. Let's see if we can get a near perfect weight map on this. Okay, let's get that neck in. Let's redefine. Now that pelvis right here. It's gonna be this is gonna work out pretty nicely here. So And I mean, 
a lot of the times, guys, you can just go on CG Trader and go and buy your model, you know, like, so. Totally recommend doing that. I mean, it's like 10 bucks, 20 bucks for a model, and you don't have to do this, you know, so. I'm not saying this isn't fun and an awesome thing to do, but why not just save yourself some time and get it done nicely? And let just this tutorial just be like a, a point to say, hey, like this guy made a zombie in 15 minutes or whatever. Don't even know how long this is going to be. You can too, you know, so. We're just going to say we want this to kind of be... Mm, no, it's not a good pill. It's not a good spine. It's right there. And I kind of want this one to be like, I want to reduce the weight. I guess I should have explained a bit more too. It's just like you increase the weight resistance or sensitivity of blue and red. Red's heavier, uh, blue's less heavier. But I'm sure that the you guys that are watching probably know that. If you don't, you know, it's just 15 things to fix. It's not a big deal. So, I mean, that's good enough with me. I mean, you know, it's not perfect, whatever. We've got everything here, you know, whatever. Um, so, let's go ahead, hit O, hit Exit. Now, I'm going to copy over my alien here just to make sure we have a good size comparison. Uh, I will provide an example, humanoid, probably this one, you know, whatever. So, to prepare for the next little parts here, we're going to need to basically duplicate this five times, I believe. So just follow the steps that I do here. So going to need a geometry. Going to need a memory. Going to need a land contact. Gonna need a view geometry, and you're gonna need a uh, fire geometry. I mean, this is even going to the point of we're making the the model. So let's just go on and do it. You know, I was gonna subdivide this up, but this makes sense just to keep doing it like this. So basically. Um, Delete this in the geometry, and in the geometry, you add this there. Memory. This is for the zombie itself. Hand contact is good. View geometry. Okay. And fire. Same thing. Okay. So view and fire geometry are... View geometry is how you interact with it. If you can look at it and um, get in its inventory or whatever. Fire geometry is its hit model. Um, I actually just learned how to correct this. What you end up doing is... Uh, so you name boxes, uh, squares by the actual skeleton itself. But I was using the actual mesh and naming it and see if I could get the um, the skeleton to connect. I haven't tested if this works or not. We're gonna do a live test and see, so <laughs> whatever. Okay, so we got this uh, working good enough. So um, second thing I need to do is I need to go over and let me get doo -doo -doo. <clears throat> okay 
Okay, so I just want to correct uh, one thing, and it is the view and the fire geometry. In order for this to work, we need to add in a box. Now we can edit uh, the size of this box, which we'll want to, uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to put it over roughly what selection it's going to take place of. So this rectangle is going to take place of the head, and we'll use all four windows to make sure that it looks right. Alright, so then we're going to redefine the head. So that is the head now. The head is now this, and it will, well, make sure you're getting the entire selection. And then there you go. So we just need to go through here, add in some more of these boxes, and um, continue. So, for instance, I'm going to be kind of lazy with it, and then I'm going to go in and just connect it to the spine, or, yeah, so I'll right-click and connect to the spine. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of how that'll go, and we're going to have basically this guy, we're just going to go over here and delete that, add that, and then we're good. Uh, one thing I noticed, I just tested this beforehand, is I noticed um, it, the model itself was having issues around the neck, so what I want to do is honestly just, guys, let's just delete this neck just for, like, this video. And let's see where it goes. So, again, let's go on and let's build our add on. And if you guys want, um, I'll go into, if, you, if this video gets a lot of views, I'll go into. Uh, more details on how to create all this stuff. This is just kind of like a rough area, you know, you can go into more depth or go into the Daisy Monitors Discord and then ask more questions because, I mean, that's really how you learn. A lot of my other videos, like, you really need pro prior knowledge, especially like the map creation video. You need prior knowledge of Daisy modding to even really begin on that. So, this is going to be really fun, though. Uh, I can't wait. To like see how this actually goes, it's gonna be pretty neat. <laughs> I got way too many vertexes on the SpongeBob, but it's okay. Who cares? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so I'm back. I didn't have my P drive mounted. Imagine that. Whatever. So uh, we're just gonna ignore this. And abort. Uh, it's going to load up and check it out. We have our Sponge Craft. I'm not going to say his name. I don't want to be copyrighted. Uh, here. Great. So, from here, we just need to add him to our project. So, let's go and let's add him to the alien invasion. This is going to be a test and I'm just going to show you like how I do things. Um, so first thing we want to do is we want to go in and add our SpongeBob. That's going to be the PAA and the P3D. We're going to go on, and then we're going to add on to this skeleton here. This is going to be the model config in this class here, so we're going to need it to have... We're going to make him Geb Sponge. Okay, so let's go ahead and name it. 
Uh, let's, let's go ahead and rename it. We're going to have to go in and re-edit the object again so it uh, will be fine. <clears throat> okay. So um, go into config and we're going to um, we're going to have to uh, add on to zombie base. I'm trying to remember how I did this. Um, so I guess I'm just going to copy what I did and redo it. So the base zombie and the alien are a little bit different. I don't know why. I don't remember, but I know they are. So we're going to go with that and we're going to copy and paste it. So for the alien base, we'll just go on and we're just going to uh, make that Gib sponge. Just like that. Sweet. Okay. We're just going to scroll through here and then we're going to need to get uh, Gib Sponge, Gib. Let's just make it like this. You know what I mean? Do that. Gib Sponge, Gib Sponge, Gib Sponge. We're going through here, and we're just quickly doing it this, you know. All right, so that's done. Let's go back up here. Let's make sure we got our classes named. We don't. We don't have them named right, so we need to go back down here, copy the, the class that I renamed that it's extended from, and it's going to be Gep Sponge Base. And it's there. Now, this is complete. Great. So remember how we re renamed the model? Well, we need to go back in and we need to configure that model. Now, how do we do that? Well, we're going to go to our P drive. We have to do it from the P drive. We're going to go into Alien Invasion, Data, Aliens, and Sponge. Now, select the whole thing. We want to get our texture loaded. And uh, we see this is from the C drive. We don't want that. I want it from the P drive, always. So go back in here, alien invasion, data, aliens, switch to PAA, SpongeBob, apply, OK, save. And um, I mean, we could test it. And uh, I don't know why that RSS empty keeps popping up, whatever, it just happens. It's pretty annoying. But uh, yeah, OK, so. Uh, there we go. We have this going now. We have the model. We have the config loaded. And now we just need to go and we need to build it in add-on builder. So what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, get alien invasion. Then we're going to launch this in offline mode. So it's build was successful. We're going to do offline mode. And our mission right here is going to be. Yeah, that's local. We want that to be alien invasion. Cool. Let's unload any mods we have. Cool. We have that, add that. Let's hit play. So this should load us in with the developer version of what we're working with uh, in offline mode. So let's see what happens. If not, then I've got to update offline mode or do something, but it should work. This is always so stressful waiting on this to load. It's like, will it, will it load? I mean, it probably will. I hope it will. I think it will. Throw back to making a turkey. It took forever. Okay. Awesome. All right. So let's see. Let's see what we got. We got to get. Well, that's not.
it didn't load. So, well, we just need to go back and see what we did wrong. So, directory of the location, Geb's, see, look at what it, the, the destination where it went, Geb's dev. So, I loaded up the wrong one, that's okay. Let's just go back, and let's change it, Geb's dev. Now, I have this feeling that when I get into the game, and I spawn the sponge, that it might fall through the map, and, um crash the game. If it is, it's because I didn't detect the topology or the components and uh, oh, how annoying. Alright, so build successful. We're going to go on and launch this up and we're going to see uh, what kind of sponge that we've created. I think it's going to be pretty awesome, you know. It's you know, it's like if if the science exists, why not do it, right? So, First things first, let's just go on and then let's let's give this full quality right here and then let's uh I don't know why it hopped over like that. It does that sometimes. Pretty annoying. Alright, cool. Alright guys. Here we go. Are you guys ready for the sponge? <laughs> I'm not. Dear God. So it's not perfect. Uh, you can see, like, we deleted the uh, the neck, and uh, it's kind of messed up. But there's some points there you have to, like, play around with. And uh, you can even see, like, you don't really need to play around with that fire model, too. Fire geometry. But this is kind of the rough tutorial on how to create zombies. Uh, if this gets more views, I'll go into a more in-depth uh, explanation. Just because it's a lot of uh, a lot of time to sit and explain all of this. But um, hey, good luck. <laughs> 